In this video, I'm going to be sketching y equals x squared plus 7x plus 10 over x squared plus 3x take away 18. So let's see if we can factorise the numerator and denominator first. So that would be x plus 5, x plus 2. And in the denominator, uh, we would have x plus 6, x minus 3. OK. Right, vertical asymptotes first. That's when the denominator is 0, so at minus 6 and 3. So minus 6 and 3. OK. Now, uh, where is it crossing the x-axis? That's when y is 0, that's when the numerator is 0. So that would be at minus 5 and minus 2. So minus 5, somewhere there. And minus 2, which is going to be somewhere, let's pop that there. OK. Now, how about where it crosses the y-axis? Um, so where is it crossing the y-axis? That's when x is 0. So that would be 10 over minus 18, which is minus 5 ninths. So somewhere here. So minus 5 ninths. Right, uh, how about any horizontal asymptotes? OK, so horizontal asymptotes will exist uh, dividing through by x squared. So 1 plus 7 over x plus 10 over x squared. Uh, over 1 plus 3 over x take away 18 over x squared. So horizontal asymptotes, uh, there will be one because the order of the polynomial on the top is the same as the order of the polynomial on the bottom. So as x tends to positive or negative infinity, this is going to tend to 1 over 1. OK, so y equals 1. Um, let's just put it somewhere there for the moment. There's our y equals 1. OK, right. So um, one thing that we would need to be careful on is we can see that our sketch probably has to do something like this, OK, uh, in order to go through those three points. Now, does it go up high enough in order to cross through y equals 1? OK, so this is what another reason as to why we need to work out whether it crosses that horizontal asymptote or not. So I'm going to put uh, the x squared plus 7x plus 10 over x squared plus 3x take away 18. And put 8 equal to 1. So um, multiplying up, x squared plus 7x plus 10 is equal to x squared plus 3x take away 18. So subtract x squared from both sides. Subtract 3x from both sides, we're going to get 4x. And subtract 10 from both sides, we're going to get minus 28. So dividing through by 4, um, we're going to get minus 7. So it's actually crossing through the horizontal asymptote at x equals minus 7, um, which is somewhere up here. So it's definitely not uh, going high enough to cross through y equals 1. So it's got to do something like that. So something like that. I mean, it's minus a little bit higgledy-piggledy, -higgledy -higgledy, but that'll do. Um, so interesting this, isn't it, right? Um, the, that it's crossing through... Uh, y, uh, sorry, x equals minus 7, y equals 1. So what does that mean? Well, it can't be coming up from this direction because that would mean it would have to cross the x-axis. OK? So it must be coming down this way, crossing through at minus 7, but it's still got to tend towards y equals 1. So it must then come back on itself in order to tend towards that line. So it must look like that. And as for here, well, it can't be coming up from this direction, otherwise we'd have to cross the x-axis. 
it must be coming down this way and we know it won't cross the horizontal asymptote because we know the only intersection point is at minus 7. And so this is what the curve must look like. 